It's a lady in London here. Today I want to take you around London's St. James's. This area is a great traditional part of London and it's a fun place to come explore. There's lots of traditional men's shops, secret passageways to explore, there are parks and gardens, and there's beautiful heritage architecture all around. I can't wait to show you around the neighborhood. It's easy to get to St. James's. There's lots of tube stations around, including Green Park, Piccadilly Circus, and Charing Cross. Local buses also serve the area, and it's central enough to walk, too. There's no shortage of great shopping in St. James's. From the traditional goods on German Street and the men's shops around the neighborhood, to Fortnum and Mason with its famous food halls, there's a lot on offer. There are all kinds of specific shops too, from hat makers to wine shops, so it's fun to go around the neighborhood and see what's there. There are also a lot of historic shopping arcades around the area, so it's nice to keep your eye out for them when you're walking down the street. If you love pubs, you're in luck in St. James's. There are a lot of great traditional watering holes in the area, and it's fun to walk down the side streets and visit them. In addition to pubs, there are some great restaurants and bars in St. James's, from the Wolseley on Piccadilly to hotel bars and restaurants, and the traditional and historic establishments on German Street. There's a lot on offer. St. James's is full of great streets to walk down too. From Piccadilly and German Street to Pall Mall, there's a lot of great ones to explore. Wide streets like St. James's Street are full of traditional shops, restaurants, and art galleries.
Narrow alleys like Crown Passage are fun to walk down. They're packed with historic pubs and restaurants and all kinds of things to explore and discover. There are also great squares and courtyards around St. James's. St. James's Square is the most obvious one with its big green space in the middle. It's surrounded by all kinds of members clubs and historic buildings, and there are blue plaques dedicated to famous people. My favorite hidden courtyard in St. James's is Pickering Place. Right off St. James's Street, it used to be the home of the Embassy of the Republic of Texas. Now it's home to beautiful architectural details, and there's always a nice Christmas tree in the courtyard in the holiday season. Elsewhere in St. James's, Waterloo Place is a popular filming destination. They were even filming something when I was shooting this video. There's a Crimean War Memorial in the square, and there's also a statue to Edward VII. If you walk all the way to the eastern edge of St. James's, you'll come to Trafalgar Square, where the National Gallery is. St. James's is also known for its historic members clubs. From the Royal Automobile Club to the Reform Club and the Oxford and Cambridge Club, a lot of them can be found on Pall Mall. There are beautiful parks and gardens bordering St. James's too. From St. James's Park to Green Park, there's lots of green spaces. They're some of the best places to see spring flowers in London, and the daffodils in both parks are amazing. St. James's is also dotted with art galleries and auction houses. There's no shortage of them on the side street, so you can walk around and window shop your way through. This part of London also has a lot of historic, aristocratic, and royal residences, and is home to St. James's Palace. Some of them are open to the public on select days, while others are still in private use. Either way, it's fun to walk down the streets and see their facades. They're absolutely beautiful.
I hope you've enjoyed this tour of St. James's and I hope you get a chance to explore the area yourself in person. It's a wonderful part of London and a really fun place to explore. As always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy exploring.